Hi boys and girls, welcome back. We have an awesome story today, one of my favorite characters in the Bible, David. Another story about David, and this, this story is one of my favorites. I think it will be yours too. We also have a special guest today I want to introduce you to. This is my grandson, one of my grandsons, and his name is Jameson. Jameson Hawkins. And he's going to help us with the story. He's going to listen and we're going to learn about David and Goliath together, okay? All right. Well, I'm going to turn you to the board so you can kind of get an idea of what's going on. So, the Philistines and the Israelites were getting ready to fight each other. They did not like the Israelites, the Philistines. They were their enemies. They faced each other on opposite mountains. Between them was a great valley. On one mountain, the Philistines put up their tents. On the opposite mountain, the Israelites put up their tents. But they didn't start to fight right away. Instead, the Philistines sent a giant named Goliath to challenge the Israelites. The giant was nine feet tall. He had a bronze helmet and a coat of armor that weighed 200 pounds. That's a heavy, heavy coat of armor. He carried a javelin and a 25-pound iron spearhead. So the spearhead weighed 25 pounds. And to protect him even more, a man walked ahead of him with a huge shield. Goliath, in his big, loud voice, shouted, Send a man who will fight with me. We don't need a whole army to do the fighting. If your man is killed, I win, and you will be our slaves. If he kills me, we will be your slaves. <laughs> For 40 days, both morning and at night, that giant would come out. He would strut before the people, and he would shout the same thing. Send me a man who will fight with me. So he thought there was nobody that would ever be able to de defeat him. Goliath thought that. But no one wanted to fight him. Everybody was afraid of him. They said, he is too tall and too strong and too mean. And they were too frightened to fight. But there was someone who wasn't afraid to fight the giant. It was David, the shepherd boy. David was at home taking care of his father's sheep. Well, three of David's brothers were in Saul's army. Over here, these are the men that were in Saul's army. And three of them was his brothers. They were just a few of the people in his army, though. And so, the father said, told David, I want you to know how they are doing. I want to know how they're doing and getting along, so... He decided to send David out to find them and to find out how things were going. The next morning, David started for the enemy camp. So, here's little David. Remember, he's just a boy. He's not a man like these guys are men. He's just a boy. Kind of like you, Jameson, maybe a little older. So he got to the camp. He knew King Saul because he had worked at the palace. King Saul's soldiers looked like they were ready for a battle, but each time they heard the thunderous voice of the giant, they began to run away. They were afraid of him. Then David saw the giant that everyone was afraid of, and he said, Have you noticed how tall and strong he is? said one of the soldiers. Another soldier said, have you heard of the huge reward the king's going to give the one who kills the giant? One of his daughters will become the hero's wife, and the king will pay all of the family's taxes. Besides, who is this man who is allowed to talk against the armies of the living God? David asked several of the soldiers. Then he said to the other soldiers, Why should this wicked Philistine bother us? I will go out and kill him. Well, when his brothers heard David talking like this, they got mad at him. 
they were angry with him. They said, what are you doing here? Go home and take care of the sheep. You're just a boy. Well, David didn't pay any attention to what his brother said. He knew he wasn't doing anything wrong. One of the soldiers told the king that David was not afraid to fight the giant, and the king sent for David. David said to the king, No one needs to be afraid of Goliath. I will fight him. Don't be ridiculous, said Saul. How can a boy like you fight a giant like him? But I can, David insisted. I've killed lions and I've killed bears who tried to steal my sheep. And the Lord who saved me from them will save me from this giant. Well... All right, Saul, the king finally said, and may the Lord be with you. David was wearing the clothes of a shepherd boy, so Saul gave him his own armor. Armor is this stuff that they wear. It's made out of metal to protect their bodies. Well, when Saul gave him his armor, he couldn't wear it. It was way too big and much too heavy. I can't wear these, said David, and he took them off. Then David picked up five smooth stones. We're going to just change our picture a little bit here. All these men are getting anxious. They don't know what they're going to do with that huge giant. They're scared of him. He is big, isn't he, Jameson? I'd be afraid of him too, a little bit. But we know that God can take care of us. So let's see what David says. David picked up five smooth stones from the stream and he put them in his little shepherd's bag. This is like a sling. And he put them in his little shepherd's bag and as he walked along to meet the giant, he took out the sling. Goliath couldn't believe what he saw when David came to fight. Am I a dog? He roared. You come at me with a stick. Then he swore at David using the names of his gods. Come on over here, little boy, and I'll kill you and my people will win. David wasn't afraid. He shouted to the giant, You come at me with a sword and a spear, but I come at you in the name of the Lord, of the armies of heaven and of Israel, the very God you don't believe in. Then David continued, and he will give me victory. Do you hear that? He will give me victory so that all may know that he is the true God. So David ran to meet Goliath. He reached into his shepherd's bag and he took a stone. Then he hurled it with his sling and he hit the giant right in the forehead, right in the forehead. Goliath fell down to the ground with a great thud. So we're going to just say, he just fell like boom. Oops. And then David comes and he gets his sword. Goliath's sword. And he kills Goliath. Because that's what they had to do to get rid of the Philistines and to get rid of the giant. When the Philistines saw their champion was dead, they ran. They dropped everything and they just took off. Saul's army chased after them and they captured a lot of them and took their belongings and things they had left behind. The Israelites, they shouted for joy. God had delivered them from this fierce Philistine and all the Philistines. Goliath didn't realize that in fighting little David, he was also fighting God. But David trusted God and God helped him. I love that story. Because anytime we trust God, boys and girls, men and women, he always comes through. Always. What do you think, Jameson?
Did you like that story? About yep. the giant? Yes. Yeah. Isn't that pretty awesome how that little shepherd boy, God just said, take your little sling. Mm -hmm. And he gave, he put that little stone in his sling and it hit him right in the forehead. But that's not what killed him. He went and got his sword and he killed him. That's what killed him. But God helped prepare David when he was out taking care of his sheep. Isn't that awesome? He learned how to do this while he was taking care of his sheep just at the, at the home place. He learned how to kill a lion and he learned how to kill a bear. And sometimes God prepares us for what's going to happen years from now. And just like you, you're a warrior. One day you'll be a great mighty warrior. You might not kill somebody with a slingshot, but God's made you to be a special warrior for his kingdom. And Miss Pam, your grandmother, she's a warrior too. And you're a warrior. Yes, God's made us all so special. We're all special. Did you have a question, honey? Mm -hmm. Okay, what's your question? David was probably three years older than me, probably nine. He might have been, but God can use anybody. It doesn't matter what their age is. Did you know that? I know. Isn't that awesome? He's an awesome God. He loves us so much. And we love him too, don't we? Yes, we do. So, boys and girls, that is the story for today. And adults, how, how awesome is that story? And how relative to today is that story? We've got some mighty giants in our land. Mighty. But if we trust God and do the right thing, he will always deliver the giants into our hands. Just remember that in the days ahead. He's never broken that promise. I don't think he's going to start today. If his people will seek him, turn away from their wickedness, he will hear our prayers and heal our land. So that's our story, boys and girls. I just love that story. I never get tired of that story because it's such a, a mighty story of how God works in our lives. Even like Jameson was saying, it doesn't matter the age. He was a little bit older than Jameson. Jameson, you're six, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Six, so, you're going to be seven. That's right. Lord, so... Boys and girls, just remember that God will always, if you do the right thing and you seek God, you talk to God, and what else did I, did Miss Pam tell you you need to do? You always need to read his word or get your mom and dad to read it to you or a book about his word. Sometimes boys and girls have a hard time understanding this Bible, but there's Bibles out there for children too. So that's today's story. We're going to have a word of prayer and I'll let you go. Okay? Okay, Father God, we just want to thank you for another wonderful day you've given us, Lord, and we thank you for David. Even as a boy, Father, he was a mighty warrior, and we just thank you how you used him, Lord. He took those little stones, Lord, and Lord, that's not what killed the giant, Father, but you helped him to learn that skill in order to make the giant fall. So it did take the giant down, but Lord, you helped him to actually finish with the giant, Lord. You showed him, you gave him the skills, and you showed him what to do and how to do it. And so, Father, we just thank you, Lord. We thank you for how you work in our lives, how you've worked in my life, how you're working in Jameson's life, and how you're working in these boys and girls and adults' lives, Father. And we just praise you and we thank you, Father. Lord, and just teach us how to slay the giants in our lives. Help us to never be afraid of the giants, to have no fear because our God fights for us. So once again, Father, we just want to tell you we love you and we thank you. And we thank you for this story, another wonderful story in your Holy Bible. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, boys and girls, that's today's story. 
I'm glad Jameson got to come in with us. Maybe he can join us again another time. You go out and have a great day. And remember, Miss Pam loves you, but God loves you so, so much more. Bye now.